So I heard you wanted to get in the Shaman King. But I'll have you know, this is no easy task. You'll be doing hella reading. You'll be doing a lot more reading than you thought you would have been doing by getting into this series. You are not going to simply read Shaman King. You are going to immerse yourself in the verse of Shaman King. Because there is definitely a difference. You see this? This is base form Shaman King. Nobody fucks with that. N that shit is outdated. That's why you need to go out there and read all the other stuff, like the King Zong Bong. And when you do that, you'll be up to date in how, just how fire Shaman King is. And you'll have context to everything that's going on, so you won't be scratching your head 95% of the time. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an order in which you should read the mangas to actually get into Shaman King. And I'll be clarifying on a lot of things that I guess people make mistakes on when getting into the series. So for example, if you actually want to be a Shaman King fan and to get into Shaman King, I'm just going to tell you right now, that anime adaptation, you might as well not even watch that shit because it is nothing like the manga. You might as well not even be actually looking at Shaman King. And if you're a Shaman King fan and you grew up with the four kids version, that's just, that's just so far like away from what Shaman King is. You might as well just erase all memories you have of four kids Shaman King from your head. So if you're actually trying to get into Shaman King, that anime is definitely a no-go. You're going to have to actually read Shaman King. Unless this 2021 anime picks up the slack that the original anime had and is faithful to the manga. I don't know how you guys who are fans of the anime series are going to take that, but I'm just going to keep it real with you. It's just not the same. So if you actually want to get into Shaman King, I suggest you actually go out and read it. Now, when it comes to getting into Shaman King, this is where things actually become tricky because when you're going to begin to read Shaman King, you don't actually want to just jump in and read Shaman King. I guess you could say there are certain procedures you should take to actually be able to enjoy the series to its fullest potential. So before you actually read Shaman King, what you want to do is start off with Hiroyuki Take's first manga series, Butsu Zone, because this will cover other characters that actually appear later on in the Shaman King series, and you'll be able to get a backstory for Anna and get more context to her character. Then after you finish Butsu Zone, what you want to do is look at Shaman King Zero because you'll be getting backstories to all the characters that weren't covered in the original Shaman King. You'll be getting a backstory for Yo, Horo Horo, Tao Ren, and Lesurg. But the thing is, you could actually read Shaman King Zero after completing your reading of Shaman King. So with this, it's kind of either or. But I feel like if you were to read Shaman King Zero, it kind of give you a better idea on what type of energy this series is on before you actually dive in and read it. Like think of this as a little demo to see what type of series this is. Because I'm not going to lie, being a fan of Shaman King and enjoying Shaman King is more or less an acquired taste. Because I actually had somebody join in on one of my live streams and was talking about how much he didn't like Shaman King. And he was like, I misled him and this and that and was like, I get overly gas Shaman King. But that's not actually the case because I actually stated everything that, you know, I felt about the series inside of my uh, why you should read Shaman King video and yes this series I'm going to go by that word and what exactly what I said it is not for everyone and it does have moments when it is boring so I really suggest that you should read Shaman King Zero to finally decide whether or not you actually want to you know make that 300 chapter investment so yes after you completed Shaman King Zero you can finally actually read Shaman King but this is where things get a little complicated because there is the base version of Shaman King. And what I'm going to tell you right now is make sure you do not read that version. You need to read the up-to-date version, which is the Shaman King Kang Zong Bong version. And I say this because the Kang Zong Bong version is the completed version of Shaman King where he actually fixes the ending and gives Shaman King a proper ending. You do not want to read the original version because it's unfinished, the art isn't touched up, and all this other stuff so make sure you're reading the Kang Zong Bong version because that is the complete version of Shaman King so if you're going to read Shaman King make sure you read the complete version I will say it again the Kang Zong Bong version bro it's not the original one 
and with the Kangzong Bong version, you want to make sure that it also has these two short stories with it because these two short stories are actually in the initial volume releases but i don't know if you guys are going to read it in any other way but these two short stories are the funabari no uda story and the mappa doji one shot the mappa doji one shot is Hal's backstory which is pretty much essential when, when reading this manga and the other one, which is the Fumbari no Uda, those are basically short stories about Yo's son, which comes in later on in the series Shaman King Flowers, and I'll be touching up more upon that later on in this video. So when you finally read the complete edition of Shaman King with the Funabari no Uda and the Mapadoji one-shots, afterwards, you want to read the Shaman King remix tracks, which are basically extras that give you more context on things that happen in the story but these are also short little jokes so you know take that as you will but i guess you could say these jokes do add something in terms of the plot and context within the series but it's nothing really too major but i still recommend you know actually going out and reading the remix tracks and then afterwards you want to read this one shot called yahabe made by hiroyuki take I don't want to necessarily spoil why you should read this because I guess you could say this isn't necessarily mandatory because you could actually read this afterwards but I'm gonna slap it right here because I feel like it would be a lot more hype if you do read this before you read the next few Shaman King stories so yes read Yahabe but you know that's entirely up to you this is nothing like mandatory to read so you could read it before or after flowers but me personally i feel like it would be a lot more hype if you read it before flowers but that's just my personal take on it if you want to read it after you read flowers just go right on ahead but me personally i'd read it before now after you're done reading Yahabe, what you want to do is actually finally read the sequel to shaman king shaman king flowers this story is about yo's son and this is where the fun bari no uda comes in because shaman king flowers actually takes place right after the fun bari no uda short stories and yes this will be the sequel to shaman king and the continuation of it with the old son and now that you're finally done with shaman king flowers you can finally read shaman king superstar which is currently being updated and made and you will finally be caught up to shaman king and once you do this you will finally feel like you accomplished something with your life and I, along with your parents, will be proud of you. Now go out there and make me fucking proud! But wait, there's actually more because I actually have to mention the spin-off titles that are actually out there for you to read as well. There is a spin-off title, Shaman King Red Crimson. It goes into more detail about the Tao Ren family and, you know, all the crazy shit that they do. So I suggest you read that because it definitely does add more lore and context to you know all that other shit that's going on there is actually going to be another spinoff dropping called shaman king marcos and it should be going more into marcos character and what exactly happened with the x laws and last but not least there's actually a light novel for faust out there i don't know if it's translated i don't know what the hell's going on with it but hiroyuki take actually made the art for this novel he didn't actually write it so i guess you could say this is optional but it does give you more depth for Foss character so if you want to go ahead and check it out with that being said i hope this shaman king how to read guide was helpful get your fucking hard hat make an oversoul and start reading that damn manga bro all y'all about to be official shamans today now go make me and your parents proud